Hello, everybody, and welcome to Open EXO Live. It is really good to be with you uh, this evening for me or uh, uh, for our guest, June, who is in LA. Uh, I guess it is closer to morning. And before we get uh, June up here on screen, I did want to just share a message which came from Eunice. And he just said, June is an amazing human being. We met a few years ago within the Singularity University family. He is authentic and fun. We are currently working together on an EXO sprint with one of Jun's clients. It's an amazing opportunity to get to know each other more. And I truly enjoy working with Jun. And so with that, I want to welcome to the screen or to the, yeah, to the screen, Jun, how are you doing? It is still morning for you there in... Uh, it's in still California. morning, another 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's 11.30 in the morning here in California. Beautiful weather, I suppose. Awesome. Wow. That is, you that know, is really You didn't great. tell me that you're showing that <laughs> testimonial from a message from you. And it's like, oh my God, makes me blush. He's an amazing <laughs> no. person. Absolutely. It's always great to, to actually connect with the community and so many like for me it's sometimes so difficult because i don't know which community members know each other really well um but uh, that one was an easy one for me because i i know you two are working together right now and so june for those people who don't know who you are can you tell us a little bit about yourself uh your your background and i i i I know we can go back many years, but 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 maybe maybe not so many. And and also how you came, uh, you know, into the OpenXO community as well. Okay, sure. Um, you know, as you can hear, everybody probably hear and get my accent, this beautiful, sexy Japanese accent. <laughs> I'm a Japanese, and if my Japanese accent is too sexy, and you can hear what I'm saying, just stop me, right? Um, because of my accent, I just want to um, use the slide, if I could. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kevin, if you can just turn it up. Oh, again, this is my name. But before I go introduce myself, uh, sorry, Eunice, I don't have your slide. But uh, the reason why I'm here is because of two gentlemen in a community. Uh, this is Fabrizio, the great guy. Another one, Gabriel. So I just want to shout. Uh, give a shout out to those two because I didn't, I never had listened into or watched this live stream. So it was all new, but you know, they uh, asked me to uh, pitch in and uh, to talk about myself. And also, since we are talking about transforming the world, I just want to pay tribute to my friend, uh, Yuzo Toda. Uh, you know, a, a lot of people in this community know Kodak because what happened, how it mm. failed. But people don't know enough about Fujifilm, which was a competitor head to head to Kodak. They are thriving now because of this guy, Yuzo Toda. He's my dear mentor, friend, and collaborator. Uh, unfortunately, he passed uh, at the end of last year, but he transformed Fujifilm from analog film company to a life science company in a matter of six years. And mm. Fujifilm has 75,000 people and they only let go 3,000 people. It's an amazing legacy. I just want to point out, mm. um, you know, when we are doing transformation, you know, there's a much more thing that we can do, right? Yeah. And this is me in a snapshot with my uh, beloved poodle. <laughs> so uh, in terms of EXO related experiences, um, let me step back. I am a Japanese, but I've been living in California since 88. A lot of, uh, I guess, more than a lot of people here, I think, were born. Um, and, uh, um, you know, I've been in the consulting industry for three decades now. 
Mm. But as related to uh, EXO, I had a pleasure of being an X-Prize visioneer in 2016. And then that let me get into Singularity University community and that led me to OpenXO. Um, in terms of OpenXO, I'm very new. <laughs> I read a book in 2017, but really didn't take action. But when OpenXO came up with the longitude study of the Fortune 100 companies uh, in 2021, I believe, mm. uh, I was and I thought, okay, this I can sell and really, really do the project with the clients with this data. So that got me to uh, the OpenXO. So in terms of background, uh, professional services um, in 90s, I was doing a lot of um, uh, ERP implementation, SAP Oracle and those. I, uh, I don't know if anybody remember PeopleSoft. It's one of the ERP and my team brought the uh, PeopleSoft into Japan, Japanese is a system. And I was with the KPMG and at that time uh, they were uh, spinning out consulting arm and taking it public. So as a part of that, uh, I went to Japan, stayed there two years to establish Japanese outposts there. Uh, and uh, past decade, I'm more involved in um, XPRIZE, uh, innovation, disruption, and those fields. Um, a mm. little bit more about myself. What happened was that around that time, 2011, I decided to live to 150. That changed my perspective, right? And I love working. Yes. So I wanted to yeah. work till I, did, I died. <laughs> so, you know, for the next 100 years, what I'm going to do is I stick with uh, what I know as a management consultant. So mm. I needed to transform myself. And at the same time, I um, bumped into Peter Diamandis' uh, book, Abundance. That changed the whole perspective about you know, society and world in the future. So that um, inspired me to take this route. Um, so blessed and grateful that I was able to work with XPRIZE and the Peter Diamandis. And through that, I met Salim and the single mm. team of Mixo. So um, that's that's me here. Awesome. That's that's really great. I I 100% agree with with uh, with your statements about about living. Uh, I always say at least 120. And so many of my friends and family think I'm mad. Um, <laughs> also. Also, the idea of, of continuing to work, continuing to add value to the world, right? Um, I, I don't really understand what it, what it would mean to, to retire. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so these are definitely things we, we, we have in common. Now, uh, obviously, a, a really important thing uh, about, an, about an EXO, but also about, uh, you know, someone who's going to live, live to 150 is really understanding purpose right and and mtp uh, you know massive transformative purpose is is is, is a, a main part of of you know the exponential organization and so you know what uh, what is your your mtp my mtp here you can see on the screen is eliminate the waste of the human talent on earth and small print is while listening to the cry of the voiceless Okay. Right. Throughout, I, I've seen a lot of people, talented people not being able to use their talents one way or another. Maybe it's systematic, it's culture, especially coming from Japan. I don't know um, everybody here knows about Japan, uh, how it's resource constraints and mm -hmm. deprived. It's a small island and we don't have any oil. We don't have much of the resources. We import uh, for example, food, we import 70% of calories from outside into Japan. Oh, wow. That, that's scary. Because yeah. of that, we have a culture of not waste anything. 
you know, when you yes. talk about recycling and so forth, Japan is probably the number one. And, you know, that's how Japanese automaker uh, gained the ground in the 70s uh, because we had so many fuel efficient cars already at that time. And US mm -hmm. and other country needed that small cars, right? Yeah. But uh, when I look at the Japan, what's happening now, what ha has been happening now is that we have great education. We have educated workforce and talents, but you know, they're not used to full extent. You know, mm -hmm. I talk to friends at the Honda and uh, you're saying that, okay, young guys, you know, he came to Honda to work as an engineer, but because Honda is too big, what he does is project management. He cannot use his talent to the fullest, right? And mm -hmm. I have a friend, a female friend here in the States that uh, she opted out to work because she have a, a, had a baby, but she could do the job one tenth of, I guess, with the one tenth of time uh, uh, compared to what I could do. But because of the structures uh, and the maybe value perception that people have, and those talents are not fully used at all. But you know, it's countless, right? Yeah. And they believe yeah. that, you know, we have so many big grand challenges, but if we can use all the talents in the arts, we can we can solve all the problem. So that's why this is my MTP. Awesome. This this also resonates so much with me. I I I I often say to people we we have one one problem in the world and it's people's potential being reached, people's talents being used. Because if everybody was using their talents, we'd solve all the problems. So man, I, uh, this is this is awesome. Now now, Jun, you said you you're fairly new to the to the Open EXO community, but you really did. Just you know, sort of jump in. I I, I know you you currently you know working working with a with with an organization looking at an at an EXO sprint. But since you you know learned of the uh, well got more more deep into the EXO model, um you know how are you? How does it affect your sort of day to day uh, activities? Okay, uh, before I get into that, can mm -hmm. I just share what I did with the XPRIZE relating to uh, my Yeah, yeah, MTP? yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to go back on the slide and quickly go with me. So this is a project I worked on, Avatar XPRIZE. Okay, instead of having virtual avatar, why don't we create a physical robotic avatar, human robot avatar, people can jack in, Op, op, uh, operate remotely so that we can connect all 8 billion people on Earth, right? I don't mm. kind of go through. So what it does is bridge the gap between time, distance, culture, and create limitless human potential. So this is a teleportation of consciousness, and you can engage with external uh, environment, actual change, and so forth. So what it does is it could teleport skill sets. So this is a big jump and big uh, disruption innovation um, toward my MDP because uh, before, even now, right, the time and distance is a big barrier for uh, matching the talents, right? But we are fortunate because we are digital nomad and professional. But some yeah. of the professions, you have to be physically there. But using yes. avatar, you can do that. And avatar could help kids and other people who are um, marginalized or maybe in needs, right? They imagine uh, if you have robotic avatar in sub-Saharan Africa, uh, in a small village, right, there's no doctor. And a boy is sick. And you can have a doctor from New York to jump in to Avatar instantaneously instead of taking three days to get there, right? And same robotic Avatar could be used by auto mechanic from LA. And that could be become mechanic to fix the truck, only truck that's Wi-Fi in that small village. So I just want to talk 
about that because it kind of uh, encapsulate what I'm trying to do. Okay, yeah. And getting back to, you can probably take out that slide, I guess, in terms of talking about, uh, you know, how I'm embedding uh, or the Excel in daily life. Mm. Yes. Uh, suddenly, you know, I got into foundation, I think, a year ago <laughs> and completed that. And then uh, soon after that, I took uh, consultant certification. Mm. Uh, and it's my nature uh, to use it or, you know, thinking about using uh, immediately. So I yeah. immediately got the work uh, with the client and uh, starting selling a sort of a wake-like program, mm. uh, but I cut it into five weeks so that a busy executive could do assignment, uh, not crammed into one room for a day. So I've been yes. selling that, uh, incorporating that, and that's a great uh, lead way for a bigger project like Sprint. So now I'm yeah. working with Eunice and Lars on uh, a Sprint project. Uh, uh, and I'm sort of developing a um, program depending on the uh, organization, not only just selling uh, you know, those sprints and so forth. In between, I have other uh, offering I can do like uh, workshop to improve or increase creativity and so forth. But it is just amazing how community is structured and we can access so much talent here. You know, throughout Sprint, <laughs> we are bringing many advisors from many different places, right? Yes. I think we covered all the continents. <laughs> <laughs> Just show oh, uh, you know, five weeks now. So yes, it shows. And also in terms of daily, daily life, uh, I started to talk about MTP more and more. Not about my MTP, but you know, people who wants to have more energy to get up every morning. Yes. So you know, from time to time, I'm invited to speak at uh, MBA school, B schools, and uh, often I sort of talk about MTP and have them go through MTPs. And even you know, in casual conversation, when I sort of speak about what I do and so forth. I introduce my MTP and some people get interested. So I'll let them create their own MTP and talk. And it's really, really engaging in terms of getting to know the people, right? Rather than, yes. you know, talking about, uh, you know, traffic and weather. <laughs> no, absolutely. Absolutely. It, 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 also, it also allows you to, yeah, to to find people that, that you resonate with, even though it, your MTPs might be, might be different, but it's, it just is that deeper sort of connection, which I think is, is really wonderful. Now, the, the one thing we, we, we did speak about beforehand is, is about, you know, how simple solutions really can, 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 can drive success. Right. And, and, I'd like you just to to speak a little bit more about that and 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 why that's so important. Uh, throughout my career as a management consultant, um, I didn't do much of the strategic consulting because that oftentimes end up not being implemented or being not being mm -hmm. implemented properly. So you know, thirty years of my uh, consulting life. You know, I'm more of an execution, right? When it comes down to execution, if it's not simple enough, you cannot really uh, get it done with people, yeah. right? And also, you know, coming from Japan, um, simplicity equals beauty, mm. right? So I think the solution needs to be beautiful, right? The simpleness uh, counts quite a bit. So when you talk about... Um, you know, EXO, very simple, right? Framework, MTP mm -hmm. in the center, and you have scale and ideas. Uh, and 
that simplicity helps. Simplicity at the same time would give you more flexibility as well, right? So when I talk about uh, you know execution and success, success comes from execution rather than idea. So that that's my motto, and that's how I go about it. So if you you can make it complex, but you know, it's it's great. It becomes a little bit masturbation by yourself that okay, you have a lot of knowledge, just, you know all about it. But you know, if you want to get things done, you know, make it simple, distill. Hundred percent. It's 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 so true. Now, be, be, beforehand, we were we were speaking um, a little bit about. Um, your work with uh, a, a Buddhist temple. Do you want to share a little bit more about Yeah, about that? thank you. I know yeah. you, I think you have a few slides too, but but yeah, it'd be great to, yeah. to, 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 to see a little bit yeah. more about that. I right. can share thank again. You. So again, um, you know, while I'm talking to people, you know, I talk about EXO, not EXO, necessarily EXO, but um, MTP and so forth. Um, mm -hmm. I met this uh, temple, Kogenshi Temple in Hiroshima. And I met this guy by the name of Taiko Murakami. And he's head priest of Kogenshi Temple. And uh, uh, in, uh, in, in the temple, um, out at the remote side of a remote part of Hiroshima. And, and uh, you know, I have this sort of bias toward, you know, monk and, you know, Buddhist priests. They're traditional, you know, and they're not really forward looking. But, you know, when I started talking to him that he shared his challenges and what he's been doing, and I found out that, that even though he's working hyper locally in local community, over 20 years of his career, he helped 15,000 people. And he is struggling to see how far he can reach because, you know, we see uh, people are in pain more, more so than ever. Right? Mental illness being a challenge, biggest challenge, WHO estimated about a billion, I think, in two, as of 2019. And other Lancet study shows about 2 billion people suffering mental illness, right? And he was um, struggling how, how he can sort of give the reach to what he, his healing uh, could do. So I started talking about uh, the minute I was talking about the reach, I was thinking about AXO. Mm. So I offered pro bono uh, session, the five week program yeah. with him. And he was, okay, I'm, I'm committed to learn and experiment. So, uh, you know, it became a journey. And what's amazing about it is it that I usually put advisory call in the program. As for the page, uh, I don't have to go out of pocket. But mm. for this pro bono, I don't have any budget, right? So I put the advisory ticket as a pro bono, you know, asking for help with this community. Within a matter of uh, 24 hours, I got four responses. I'm like, wow, what a great community. <laughs> right? And not only that, you know, uh, those people, Fabrizio and Gabo said, you know what, advisory call is good, but you know, this is a great cause and great purpose. Yeah. All right. So let's spread. Uh, and I probably spoke too much about this slide, but his MTP is awaken the individual unconscious realm and foster harmonious connection with the external world beautifully and joyfully. Hmm. Right? Isn't that amazing? And yeah. what's great about him is that not only he's off minded, but he's very inclusive. He practiced this uh, uh, sh uh, Shingon Asatori um, Buddhism, right? Very small people do it, right? It's esoteric, so not many people know. 
and he's very strict about it. But at the same time, he understands that uh, there are many uh, different types of uh, faith and the healing. So he's not particular, he, he practiced that, but he doesn't exclude other way of healing too. Hmm. So uh, I thought it would be great if you can sort of gather the crowd in the community uh, and uh, pursue this uh, you know, endeavor and make this MTP realize uh, a bit, right? So uh, I'll just pass on. So we are trying to launch this uh, short six week uh, ideation um, a sprint with uh, Fabrizio and Gabriel. And uh, we are asking for uh, people's support and generosity to get on journey and, and see what we can do here. Wow, that's, uh, that's really interesting and, and, and so great to hear, you know, also how when there's, when there's uh, you know, a, 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 a project that, that is meaningful and sparks people's interest that, you know, people join in, right, from, um, and, yeah. and, and from all over the world, which, um, which, which really is, is, is so amazing. So if, yeah, for those that are watching this live or, or in the recording, um, you know, yeah. do reach out uh, uh, on the, on, on the platform for sure. So that you can get right. involved. I'm trying to find, yeah. okay. There's a, so landing page, uh, can I share this with, uh, I don't know, is a comments or chat comments maybe? maybe yeah, not. absolutely. Um, okay. you, you, sh you can stick it in, s stick it in the comments okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for sure. And well, maybe I can just show this, at least the site here. So this is the site. So I'll stick in the... Yeah, awesome, yeah. you can... So this is the site. Can... Yeah. Perfect. So, as I... As I said at the beginning, June, the time disappears on these Open EXO lives. It does. Uh, and we are going to have to call it uh, uh, now. I always want to end off, though, with, with one question, which is, if there's only one thing that you can share with people, uh, what would that one thing be? Uh... In, in what perspective, what, what are you looking at? <laughs> this open end? <laughs> this Completely open-ended. Open the, the one thing which you think is really important for, for people to take away. Uh, I, I think it's just, you know, the purpose and people, right? It's not one thing, but, you know, the community that we have here is amazing. You know, it's, mm -hmm. you know, communities of people are coming from all over the world with the uh, generosity and purpose uh, uh, and that's hard to find and also yes. in a lot of people here have uh, great skills in technologies too that makes it even rarer and and uh, I don't know I guess you know how many people are deep involved in this community but if you're not then join and go deep with it and you'll find a great great people and i believe in modern relationships everything is a, a relationship so cherish the relationship and co-elevate together that's not one thing sorry <laughs> that is but that's a good thing that's definitely a good thing june <laughs> it has been it's been wonderful chatting to you i'm looking forward to connecting uh, uh, even more, um, uh, we 
we we do have so much in common it's really difficult for me to try and connect with all these amazing people in this community um but also i i really enjoy trying to connect people as well so it's been so great chatting to you i uh, thank you so much for uh, for being with us thank you kevin um, awesome. have a fantastic rest of your day okay you too take care okay bye bye everyone bye so great chatting with with june thank you everybody for joining us and we will see you all again very soon